Use it. 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 Be the 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 you got to be in the You got to be in the box. 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 You got to be I guess we'll start first, Daddy, with the winner. Did you, did you hear about the winner? Uh, number we had number one, number two, number three, and number four, and number three. Okay. The K Stockman. Who would have thunk it? He's Stockman. Finally, we get rid of a Stockman. Uh, yeah. Put that over there. Well, that'd be uh, the giveaway for the YouTube. Once again, Mr. Bobby will put the, the uh, rules about right on. here. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. This is Bobby. I wanted to do a really quick overview of the rules. Uh, it just seems like every week there's a couple folks that mess this up and uh, they don't get entered and we want everybody to be entered. So uh, if you're new to the channel, we're so glad you're here and found us. The first thing you need to do is please leave a comment on this video. Just say, prize me, please enter me, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the next step, which is probably the most important step, send me a, an email to dscutleryprize at gmail.com. And in that email, you must include your YouTube handle, your YouTube name. Once you've done that, next week, just leave a comment on the video and you're good to go because I'll have your email address on file. Just a couple of quick housekeeping rules. We only ship to the, to the U.S. Um, we don't offer any substitutions, trades, credit or cash. If you win, please, if you don't want the knife, don't enter. Um, there's a lot of folks that would love to have it. So, um, and most importantly, we are never going to contact you on YouTube and ask you for any type of personal information. Um, that is that is not going to be us. We've actually caught people doing that. And that's the whole reason why I want your email address up front. Just wanted to say thank you all so much for your support of the channel. We would be nothing without you. And that's the whole reason why we're doing this. Y'all be carrying us like backpacks and y'all got us over 2K subscribers, which is just amazing. Blow our minds. So thank you so much and good luck to you. Deep South Cutlery. Good times. Great knives. Let's start right here. Here's our, our toasted stuff our toasted Mediterranean blue. Now, we have a new color that we had, Rex Wiseman. Get a shout out to him, Rex Wiseman hollered for us. I don't know if it's gonna be a hit or not, but he wanted me to toast a red bone handle knife and call it fried bologna. Fried bologna. What you think, Joe? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't your thing, Joe? No. You don't like fried bologna? I like fried bologna, but but that's the only one I've done. Yeah, it is. We're trying a good deal. Yeah. Brother X, look what you started. But there we go, there's the Mediterranean blue toasted. That's some pretty stuff right there. That's the whole set. That's all the jade bone we'll have. There is no more jade bone to be made. A little bit of toasted sky blue. The toasted uh, gray bone with the carbon steel. Those are nice knives. And here's some just the standard stuff we keep all the time. <laughs> all the time in here. Check it out what we got. Y'all know this one. There's the regular Mediterranean, the white synthetic, uh, white bone there in the back. Some of that, what do they call that? That blue pearl, Daddy? Blue pearl, pearl. I got a bunch of the brown bone. That's, uh, ain't that brown bone? Yep. Brown bone, yep. That is, uh, we got a bunch of the mini copper locks, brown bone. That's not brown there. That's antique. That kind of got in the wrong spot. Here's our carbon steel. Well, there's, start right here. Here's a whole bunch of uh, Damascus. Damascus knives carbon steel white with the with the Ameri American flag badge. Some zebra wood right there. Some more maple burl back there in the back. Oh, that's oak, ain't it? Yeah. What's that, black curly oak? Curly oak. Black curly oak, got some of that back there. Got it in the rust lock. There's possibly my favorite knife as far as the color that's being made right now. That is the gray bone carbon steel, good pocket knives right there. A bunch of carbon steel, yellow. Hard to beat an old yellow case knife. Check these out, I love that. Oh, that one right there. I like that big folding hunter with the uh, with the American flag badge and the uh, carbon steel blade. There's the red pocket worn. Just stay right here. Now we got a couple of these dad knives. These come in a day late and a dollar short, just like things for Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to tell your dad how I forgot to get you something for Father's Day, there's that dead knife. There's that happy Father's Day knife. If the socks didn't yeah, fit. Yeah. If the socks didn't fit, the tie you got him, he already had one. There's some olive green bone. Now, we didn't run these last week, but that's the olive green bone, worn cliff, pocket worn, uh, copperhead. What you got there, Daddy? Mm -hmm. in what you got? Look at that right there. Check that out. Stag, single blade. What year is that? That's an 80. Uh, I don't know. 
81. 81 model. New trial side. That is nice. It's a single blade. Single blade, 54 pattern. 54 patterns. Trapper. Check out this little bit of stag, guys. We we'll keep saying it. Get your hands on all the stag you can. There's a couple cheetahs we have here. White bone cheetahs. Now, did you see this, Daddy? Is that the, is that what they call that's it? The, that's the, the pitch black. The pitch black or the new black? That's, yeah. New black? Yeah. They call it? New black in the half size Coke bottle. The, the uh, Look center swell. It may be pitch black. Pitch black. Pitch black. I thought that's what it was. Yeah. Pitch black. I thought it was a uh, new black. I, I always gets confused, and they have all those. Yeah, the new black is a lot wider. Yeah. <laughs> there is a. Uh, there's some more stag stuff right there. Here's something we try. We're probably gonna do this as a giveaway. We did this maze. My son likes this. He calls it the toasted marshmallow. But this was one of the bear knives that we done. And after I got it toasted, I didn't realize this. It had a chip in it. You see that? Nothing wrong with a knife. We'll probably do that as a as, a, as one of our giveaways. Yeah. Nothing, no reserve. Nothing in the, yeah, no reserve. Nothing in the world wrong with the knife. A little chip, you're gonna tote it anyhow. Let's go in here and show you what we have here this week. Of course, we have a little bit more seed dragon. A bunch of that's run out of the shop this week. We have no more peanut butter and jelly except what's in the refrigerator. Uh, and I'm, you know what? I'm kind of, the peanut butter and jelly wasn't my thing. It wasn't my thing. I'm kind of glad it's gone. They love it, but I'm, I, what you think, Joe? It's pretty. It's pretty. Ugly. What'd you say, Woody? Woody said he didn't like sea dragon. You don't like sea like dragon? Sea I, I don't know. I like sea dragon. I, I, I like the sea dragon. I like the. Uh, I like peanut butter and jelly. It just. I like the lizard skin. I think better than all of it. Yeah, that's right. But there's what we got left there. There's a couple ram knives, a couple forward knives. We've got all these things in, guys. These are cool. Bear and Son, uh, pocket sheath or pocket holsters. Belt holsters, I guess you say it. Uh, these are the regular ones like I keep on my side. These are the ones that are horizontal, quick draw. We still have that right there, first in flight. The Wright Brothers knife right there, got that one. Uh, long houses, somebody said that they said, we didn't think y'all had any of them, but there they are. Still got some of those, love them. Tote one every day. Look how wet and sweaty that thing is. Fine pocket knives right there, y'all. Those are Winchesters. Don't Because they don't say case, don't let it scare you. They're bad. <laughs> Daddy, what you think? They're better in case, ain't they? Bluegrass Blue Grass cutlery, per, pretty knives. There are also some cross draw horizontal trapper uh, sheets right there. Pretty nice made, pretty nice made things there. Guys, we got a bunch of bearing sun in today. Let me grab the key. Grab the key. Y'all trying to work through the phone and it's kind of hard to do. Got a bunch of bearing sun today. We got a bunch of these. I love that. That is the rosewood. Uh, rosewood farmhand and that is just some kind of nice we got a bunch of rosewood stuff in but but check out there's the bone stuff bone trapper there's some of the yellow stuff we got these little knives right here little small pocket knives uh we'll maybe do some of them as a no reserve but we got these we got the other big sod or a farmhand i want to call it a sod buster lock back with a pocket clip there's the regular one with just a pocket clip non lock back there's one of my favorites that's the white bonus the one we toast there uh, there is the sheep foot Barlow, and there is the, look, this is a, this is a muskrat. A uh, rosewood Baron Sun muskrat, a rosewood trapper, like a 54, and they call this a slimline, two blade, uh, two blade slimline rosewood. There's all the farm hands. We've got some more down, down below, but that's one of all the colors that we have. Check out the rosewood. Then you got all these different colors. I ordered one of all of them. Some of them were on back order. We got some fixed blades down there, some bare edges down there, and got a Parker Edwards, which was made, I think, in the same factory back in the 80s, uh, snuck in right there. Got a bunch of older stuff to us, a bunch of stag. <clears throat> it ain't getting no cheaper. It ain't getting no cheaper. A bunch of 80s, 70s, uh, USA and double X still have that real pretty, uh, real pretty hawk bill there. Nobody's decided they wanted it more than we do yet. So there's that. We didn't even try to run this last week. There's that dealer set again. There's the Conger set, 1980 Conger set. Ain't that 1980? Yeah, 84, I'm sorry. 84 Conger set, second second cut stag. Uh, three Congress knives, but there are three 54 pattern Congresses. There's the canoe set, did a little short on that this week. In the original box, y'all. The original box, and there you see that thunder rolling? Yes, sir. 
in that same Congress sit right there. Uh huh. There's no way hundred dollars. Really? Right we don't need eight hundred dollars for. We don't need eight hundred dollars. We don't need it. There's some Jeep knives. Got a few of them still left. Now check this out. Got several of these in this week. We're probably only going to lot to sell maybe one or two this week, right. huh? Yeah. That is genuine abalone. Genuine abalone or abalone, however you want to call it. Razor. Case razor in the genuine abalone. That is prettier than any pearl. I wish they made one of those in an elephant cup. Mm -hmm. I probably couldn't afford it, but that is hey, some kind of... Dennis, got Dennis, uh, Dennis has got one of everything. I can't probably afford that thing. The regular pearl costs over a thousand dollars. No telling what a what an abalone would cost. Guys, we have several, a couple of these here. If you want one, if that's your thing, look at the bolster. Case double X, brand new, just allocated from Case. Look at the buck knives we got here. That's kind of hid back there. I'll get over there to the side. At one ten, we should be getting our buck delivery any day. They just melted today. Just melted today, so it won't make it in for the show. Uh, Kershaw's. Let's move these out of the way. Kershaw Leak, Kershaw Chives. There's some of our buck knives that we have right there. And I think I can stick another one of those buck 110s over here. What was that one we had hid back here that was kind of hiding in the corner? Let's see what that is. Oh, that's the buck light, the big buck light, ain't it? Yep, the big buck light three. That was kind of hid there. Hey guys, those are good knives. Good American made knives that aren't going to break the bank. I say that all the time. Uh, there's the, uh, the sky blue. Caribbean blue. Just take a look real fast at all these. We got some of these in. These are tough to ship, but we do got some of those in, don't we, Daddy? What's that? Them, uh, case, yeah, the yeah, case, yeah, cases? Case cases. Case cases. Case cases, yep. There's a big folding hunters. My first case. Get them before November. November, that'll be $120. $120. Get it for then. Got a bunch of fixed blades. Guys, I want to walk off with. I love this knife right here. Open that thing up. That's that Chris, that, that Chris Taylor. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. You know what I don't like about it? No. I don't like the holster. Yeah. All right, if that thing had a little different holster, I don't think like because I don't like it because it's black, black mm -hmm. leather. If it was brown, but I guess that's what you have to have with that black handle. But mm -hmm. guys, if you just held a hold to that thing, that is you nice. Know that with a here yeah. Going this one right here's got a micarta handle. Oh, micarta handle, and that's that Nitro V steel. Case is making some really, really nice. Fixed blades, fixed blades. Like, I think they're probably making better fixed blades right now than they they're are folders. folders yeah. They really are. They're, they're slip joints is their slip slipping joints is slipping and their fixed blades are fixed. There's some, there's the, is that the Roland Welker? What is this one? Uh, I can't remember what this one is. Yep, Roland Welker. Roland Welker caper. Big car to handle. You just run into the shell. Yeah. There is the Sasquatch buoys, Sasquatch uh, caper skinner. And check out those things. Now those are all 1095 carbon. Right? I believe yeah. this one is also 1095 carbon yeah. steel. Let's see, is this one Nitro V? Nope, that's 1095. 1095 carbon steel, blacked out carbon steel. And that's you want something like something feels good. What, what what is that handle? Look at it on the bottom. Taylor Arms Tector G10. G10. I, it felt like it felt like fiberglass. So that's G10. I told you you can't tell a whole lot of difference between. My card and G10. Y'all go and watch our My Card. It's got a, the great got debate a of My Card. It's good. Yeah, I like it. I like. Got a couple little import fixed blades right there. Y'all will probably stock up on fixed blades here in the next couple months. Right for deer season down here. Uh, Harvest orange. Just check it out there. Jig, uh, rough jigged plastic or synthetic plastic. Uh, just take a look right through here. What we got? Got a bunch of these. These are out. They're not making any more of those. Uh, they're not making any more of those. We uh, heard, didn't they say they weren't making any more of those? Or mm -hmm. did I, no, that still. wasn't the blue denim. Six yeah, five bone stack, sir. Uh, oh yeah, got the the steak knives. Y'all go ahead and get the steak knives. Case steak knives. Case nine piece blocks. That if you want to get ahead, come Christmas time for that's Mama. That's it. Uh, I tell y'all, they honestly go up on us about twenty five thirty dollars during Christmas time. Right now that block sets 315. Is that right? Right now that block sets 315. They'll be 350 come Christmas. Right. Uh, it's 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 crazy. Supply and demand. So, got a few uh, got a few freedom seeds. If you're if you're ever around the deep, we can't ship none of that. If you're around the deep south, the deep south area, come on in and see us. Make sure we can get you fixed up. Daddy, what you do to your razors? I ain't even I, seen that. I had to restock them because I got I got too many for I too many of them. And I'm gone. Look at his razors. Those aren't for sale yet. He's going to finish the whole set. You going to sell it once you finish the whole set? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. But, uh, y'all, does anybody want a case that says Boker? 
Very first one we've had here in a while. I'll take it. You probably, is that etched on there, Daddy? Yeah. It is, ain't it? I wonder if that would, I don't know what that would do. But uh, any of you Boker collectors, Boker Germany, there's you a, a nice set. Mm -hmm. Holler at us, we'll probably make you a deal on that thing. And, and if a case not fit in there too. A case not fit in there. Yeah. Buck knot. Yeah, buck knot. Curry Curry some. Yeah, any of them. Here's what we have left of the wildlife, wildlife back there. That one is for sale. That is a complete set. That's a complete set with complete the Complete set with the boxes. We've had it here a while. And uh, we, ain't scared. we ain't scared to hold on to it. I ain't scared to hold on to it. Anything I missed, uh, we got the- uh, You get through about 72 sets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Kershaw, oh, all these. I didn't touch none of these. Check out some of the GEC, stuff we have. GECs GEC, coming out our ears right here. Check out that one, little Whitler just came in. Uh, got all these right here. Johnny on the spot back there. Got the Coon Skinner. Got two of these in this Jig Micarta. They are awesome. Got a Cooper back there. Just take a bunch of Case Classics. I love those Whitlers. Look at those brown Whitlers right there. And y'all guess what? Those right there, those two Whitlers, that big Whitler right there, uh, this Whitler right here, you that had that say Case on them that people uh, knock you down over, are made same place that one right there was made. Those And those are bigger knives. <laughs> and those don't cost quite as much as those Case Whitlers. Right. Kind of crazy, ain't it? Kind of crazy. What you think about that, Joe? Think about what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give that wave in there. Wave at me, Joe. There you go. That makes it all better. <laughs> makes it all better. Rough Riders going everywhere. Imports. Got salt on them. Rough, um, rough Uncle Henry, old timer right there. Rough Rider is making a cool knife. Look, that's a, that is a lock back carbon steel knife right there. Pick, 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 Did you? Yeah. Check some of these right here out. There's the Cobra Tech. Those are American made. Or, or, for what we know, they're, they're assembled in America. Say it like that. They're, they're American made. You hear, you hear different you hear stories. Until you hear different. You hear, until you hear different. There it is. I got to try to go down. There is a little California stink. What are they called? The stingers? Stingers. That is a neat little knife right there. It's hard. Ain't no bigger than a squirrel. Uh, Avalon right there. Stag. Stag right yonder. Deep South hats. What else have I missed, Daddy? There's old Schultz. Old Schultz. That's my bull. What left of him? <laughs> you got this here. That really, that is. That's what's left of him, ain't it, Maze? He was a good one while he lasted. Got that right there. That's a, that's a Tennessee Wolf. We need to get rid of that thing. We've had it for a while. Kazuas, Morellas, got those down here. What am I missing? Mm. You can sell any of your, your, your uh, old, your granddaddies? Huh? You can sell them on your granddaddy. I'll sell a granddaddy if I want a granddaddy. All right, guys, y'all join us here tomorrow night, or Thursday night. Join us here once again to be entered entered into the contest. Put prize me, give me a prize, I'm entered. Just comment some way, shape, or form. Follow the rules. We had 72 people in there last week, but there was like 15 or 16 of y'all that put prize me that did not send your email to Mr. Bobby at DS Cutlery, whatever it is, DS Cutlery Prize at gmail.com. And Mr. Bobby is the one that does the counting. And if he you don't count you. And he don't count you. You don't follow the rules. Bobby's right. military. Yeah, Bobby goes by the rules. Bobby goes by the rules. Deep South Cutlery, good times, great knives. Y'all like and subscribe. Join us Thursday night. Until next time, God bless you. See you later.